This just boils my blood. Liberal scumbags who for the last eight years have been telling us on the right to not politicize the First Lady have sunk to a new all-time low. It's being reported that during the most recent White House photo shoot our stunning new First Lady, Melania Trump, was looking as perfect and classy as ever in a Dolce and Gabbana black suit and scarf. Everyone at the event was in awe of the First Lady's beauty and class. She truly is mesmerizing. Dolce and Gabbana have made it very clear they are very proud to dress the First Lady for the official White House photo. Even after so many other designers have shunned her because they don't agree with her husband's policies. Especially the policy of President Trump wanting to ban travel from seven hotbeds of terrorism in the Middle East for three months until we can be sure we can properly vet those coming in. Yet they never had any issue when former President Barack Hussein Obama banned Iraqis from traveling to the United States for nine months during his presidency. Isn't it great how liberal double standards work? Especially the policy of President Trump wanting to ban travel from seven hotbeds of terrorism in the Middle East for three months. Only until we can be sure we can properly vet those coming in. Yet they never had any issue whatsoever when former President Barack Hussein Obama banned Iraqis from traveling to the United States for nine months during his presidency. Isn't it great how liberal double standards work? Compare the above photo that's causing so much liberal outrage to what we've had for the past eight long years. This is what liberal scumbags call class and good looks. Maybe a good eye doctor might help these poor lost and confused souls. Former First Lady Michelle Obama looks like she made her own dress with the curtains she stole from the Oval Office. On what planet is this woman, or this dress, beautiful and classy? The Conservative Post reports, First Lady Melania Trump shined during the photo shoot at the White House, as the pictures were for a very special occasion. But it seems that there are still a few people who are not amazed by the beauty of our First Lady. Right after Melania finished the photo session, she and her fashion designer were viciously attacked out of nowhere. Since Donald Trump got elected, and she took the stage as a First Lady, Melania has faced many battles with the liberals. So many angry citizens refuse to accept her as a first lady, and her designers. They think that it was a bigger honor to dress Michelle Obama instead of the beautiful Melania. Many fashion designers publicly slandered Melania, saying that she would be an embarrassment to their designs. In her most recent photo shoot for the official White House photography, Melania wore Dolce and Gabbana black suit and scarf. She looked perfect. Everyone was talking about her outfit. The designer was privileged to be part of Melania's photo that will go down in history, but the liberals think differently. Right after the photo shoot, both Melania and her fashion designer were attacked by hateful liberals who can't appreciate pure class. They started with Melania and how she overused airbrush, and she supposedly was not nearly as classy as Michelle was. Her designer was attacked because he proudly accepted to be a part of Melania's outfit. Stefano Gabbana responded to the critics rather than acting a coward boycotting the first pair, and he instantly became among the most beloved designers among the conservatives. His response will leave you speechless. The proud designer of Melania, told his critics to go to hell. In a post to his Instagram account, the 54-year-old Italian designer proudly displayed the first lady's official portrait released by the White House on Monday which featured Trump wearing a DNG blazer. His brutal response to his critics made him a target of attacks for which he responded with a knockout punch to all those with their mouth, wide open. So you have lost a follower, and worst, an admirer, Instagram user, at underscore boyafraid underscore commented on the designer's post. I don't care. Really, Gabbana replied, followed with via Cagare, or go to hell in Italian. Gabbana joins the designers who proudly accepted to dress the classiest first lady. He among with Tommy Hilfiger and Diane von Furstenberg will be working on an incredible woman, and enjoy the pride. So whatever happened to the days of the Obama presidency? Where wasn't it a good thing to go after the First Lady? The same First Lady who killed off our nation's student lunch program by forcing children to eat bland grass for lunch while she would fly in her special chef from Chicago to make her a Chicago-style damn pizza. Why wasn't it okay to attack Michelle Obama but now it's open season on Melania? It must be another one of those liberal mental disorders we keep seeing. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.